Hi. In this video, I want to localize the site into the needed language with the Loco Translate plugin. I created an artist portfolio site based on the demonstration site import. I want to localize this entire site into the Spanish language. Impreza supports multiple languages out of the box. There's a list of fully supported languages, and some languages are partially ready to use. Translations are prepared based on the PO Editor project. Every customer might participate in translation into the desired language. In my case, I'll use the Spanish language, which is in the fully translated list. I'll go to the WordPress settings, General, and set the language. I can open Impreza settings and see all the sections and relevant items correctly showing the Spanish translation. Thus, all I need to do to finish the site localization is to translate the content into Spanish. I'll start by editing the page with a live builder. The translation process is easy. I click the element to open its settings and replace the needed text with the relevant translation. I'll save the changes. For the grid elements filter, I need to translate the media categories created in English. I'll go to Media, Categories, and add the translation via quick editing. I'll return to my page and refresh it. I can see relevant Spanish translations for the admin bar and the site content. But what if I wish to localize my site into the language that still needs to be added to the supported list or is not yet finished? For example, I'll go to the WordPress settings and switch the language to Danish. I'll do the same content update for it. I will add translations to the media categories. And I will also translate the content into Danish. I'll save the changes and refresh the site page. The All option inside the Grid Element filter still uses the English text. It's a technical line of text that needs to be translated and is not editable via element settings. I can add a translation for it with the Loco Translate plugin. I'll go to Plugins, Add New, and install the Loco Translate. Next, I'll open the plugin settings. In its themes section, I'll pick Impreza. Here, I need to add a new language to the list. I'll choose the Danish. It's essential to specify the correct file location for the translation. It should be inside the themes folder, without the loco folder before it. After this, I'll click the Start Translation button. Before I start translation, I'll synchronize the list to work with the actual data. I'll return to my site page to recheck that I need a translation for the All option inside the grids filter. I'll use the search bar to find this line of text, add a Danish translation, and save the changes. I'll go back to the page and check the result. I see the relevant translation applied. I can use a similar approach to translate or edit the translation for any needed language. Loco Translate allows translating the admin area text and the items inside the live builder and front-end content. It's easy to use. Just find the relevant line of text and add a translation below. Thanks for watching. In this video, I showed how to localize the site into a needed language with the Loco Translate plugin. In the following video, I'll show how to create a multilingual site with the WPML plugin.